cataractcoach.com. Here's how to fix the capsular rexus. Now, this is a reasonable capsular rexus, but it's not real well centered, and it's a little bit on the small side. Let's see how to fix it. So, I guess in here is a tough case, an intumescent white cataract, maybe. I'm certainly a white cataract. Tripan blue dye is there. Here comes the needle, 27 gauge to decompress. So, puncturing the lens capsule here, aspirating, aspirating. A little bit more, a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Remember to rock the nucleus, too, back and forth a little bit to release all the liquefied lens material. And that, again, it looks pretty good. We sped the video up here to 2x normal speed so we can be efficient because we know how cataract coach fans like to get right to the point. So now, you can see the patient's moving around quite a bit. A little more viscous going inside the eye. You may want to help fixate the eye with the side port. But let's see what we can get here with the rexus. Now, the patient may have a hard time looking at the light because of the opacity of the cataract. But grabbing the lens capsule here, that looks pretty good. I don't think there's any uh, posterior forces here that's going to cause it to run out. So I can try your best to grab. There it is. And almost. Try one more time. And almost. Try again. Be, could be, okay, more viscoelastic maybe. Get that flap lifted up somehow. So here we go. Grab onto that. And not quite. Okay, look, again, taking your time here. You got no rush. Just do a beautiful job here. There's a good squirt on the eye. Okay, going around the other way. Here we go. Get that lens capsule flipped up over. And here comes the rexus. Now, your forceps do have marks at two and a half and five millimeters. I see that. So you can use those to help measure. So that looks like a pretty good size rexus. Keep it going. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. Good rexus. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't. That's it. Keep it big, though. You're coming in a little bit. No, 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 no. Ah, see, no, 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 no. You got a little bit afraid. And now look. What do you got? Start off okay, but then you made it too small. Now it's decentered. What do you want to do here now to fix it? Well, think about it. What are you going to do here? You can hit the edge of the lens capsule again and then enlarge the rexus, the little crescent shape. So here, let's see, going in more viscoelastic is always a good choice. Always a good option to have more viscoelastic. Viscoelastic is definitely cheaper than vitreous. We know that. Now let's see what we're going to do here. I just use a cystotome, barely nick that lens capsule at about the 3 o'clock position in your view. Right there. Yep. Someone's teaching you the right way. I like it. So here comes a cystotome or a sharp needle. Hitting the lens capsule right about there. And just a small nick is all you need. And then you're going to grab that. You're going to tear a little crescent. Almost. Let's see what we got here. All right. Let's, let's see. That looks pretty reasonable. Did you pun puncture enough? Let's try again. Puncture it right there. Poke. Go for it. You can also use your, your micro scissors in there. Ooh, now see that, that tear there, you're going to be very careful because it's kind of running in both directions here. You still want to have a continuous curvilinear capsorexis. You don't want to have a loose end that's going to be able to gonna run out if you put fat pressure on it. So now let's see what we're going to do here. So going back in with the forceps, yeah, now you go grab that and go clockwise here. And yeah, just tear a little bit, just a little bit of a crescent, get it a little bit bigger. And you'll get a nice, there you go, almost get that little strip. This is going to be a little crescent shape. It's going to be like a, yep, grab it, grab it, grab it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Keep it going. Go around. Go around. But now, yeah, almost done. Grab it. Grab it. Now, that is almost beautiful. What's missing? Well, look at the area where the lens capsule, the anterior capsule is punctured. You see this, there's still a little run out tag there. See that? There's a little run out there. You need to grab, yeah, grab that thing and now go anti-clockwise or counterclockwise and just, just kind of get rid of that one weak, that's a weak spot right there. So I'd grab the left flap and go counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, depending where you are in the world. We say as Americans, we say counterclockwise, but grab that here and now go to your left and just, so you don't have a run out. There you go, now you, that's enough. Just bring it in, yay, beautiful job. Now you know how to save a Rexus. And if you wanna learn more, remember cataractcoach.com, you can submit your video too, just follow the directions, thanks.